Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sedero Astrology Forecast for August 31st through September 6th of 2020. All right, so this week a lot going on astrologically. We have a full moon uh, here about early to midweek, late Tuesday into Wednesday. So this will be a great week for doing a status check. How are things going in our life, particularly in the context of Aquarius? Is there anything we can continue to cultivate that involves our vision? or our contributing side really will be the theme uh, midweek and maybe making some shifts and changes so we can further develop that progressive and visionary and collective side of ourself. So other than this, quite a few aspects we have going on, a lot of which are involving Mercury and Venus. Once again, uh, around Tuesday, maybe a deep mind, deeper communication could be very supportive with Mercury trying Pluto. Thursday, Mercury will be trining Saturn, maybe a grounded mind in terms of productivity and grounded communications. And then as we do get into Friday, around Friday, this will be good to find a balance between the yin and yang aspects of our interpersonal relationships. Venus, the planet of harmony and mutuality, will be in a square up to Mars, the planet of our own needs and desires. So good to find the balance between being direct, assertive, independent, but also working with others and tactfulness and cooperation could be a great way of working with this. All right, so let's go and take a look at this as well as the lunar placements for the week here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this week. We're gonna look at this for each day of the week, starting first with Monday. Now, as you can see here, we are using the visible sky, which is not often used in mainstream astrology. And so the signs are very different from mainstream astrology. Um, for example, I'm gonna talk about the full moon in Aquarius, but if you were expecting me to say Pisces, uh, this is the difference between mainstream and this system. So if you are new to the channel, check out the link down below for more information on using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here first at the placements. Where are we at coming into the week? Uh, we do have a lot of shifts and changes around this Wednesday time period uh, with some of the sign changes. Um, but let's go ahead and start first with here in this case, um, actually... Yeah, here in this case here with the Sun and Mercury. So we do have the Sun uh, and Mercury still in Leo, which is about cultivating our self-expression. It's still a good time of doing things we find fun, expressing ourselves, maybe getting into some of that playful energy. This can really be how we're gaining energy and our vital life force is through viewing life through the lens of what we love, what we enjoy, and what's close to our heart. Um, is a great way of working with this week just in general. Venus is finishing up Gemini this uh, early part of the week, so maybe the first couple days, still good for enjoying some communication, um, some relatability, uh, learning could also be enjoyable uh, just in general as it has been. We do have Venus will be shifting into Cancer, I'll talk about. And then of course, Mars and his very long transit of Pisces, good to be receptive, right? We are certainly in the oceans of things when it comes to our motivations, our drives, our needs. And so it's good to be receptive uh, to seeing the ebbs and flows of life and putting motivation and drive into where the currents of life are taking us versus fighting against the currents or swimming upstream. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here first at, uh, yeah, let's start with Monday. So Monday, we still do have the moon in Capricorn, as was the case on Sunday. So still good for responsibilities, uh, good for doing anything that does require time, patience, perseverance. We could notice some themes around that um, and just good to develop that type of stuff around Monday. No major aspects going exact on Monday. So I think that's going to be playing the major theme. Once we do get into Tuesday, however, we certainly start to get into the full moon energy, which will be in Aquarius, both very late Thursday I mean, excuse me, very late Tuesday and all of Wednesday for us collectively. And it will be in Aquarius. So as we get into Tuesday, we'll probably start to feel this energy of seeing how we can cultivate more of our visionary side, right? Aquarius is the water bearer. It's the person pouring water into the stream for all to drink. And so it represents our visions for the future that we can cultivate. And this can certainly be collective visions. It's a great time of seeing the world, and where's this doing a status check on the world and the collective in that sense? How can we contribute or be a part of something greater than ourselves to really access that visionary side? And just on a personal level, it's a good time to really access our true self, 
the side that wants to be individualistic, uh, express our eccentricities, all of these unique qualities of ourself that do represent us and our very unique role in the collective. So likely a lot of themes around this mid to early part of the week around this visionary sign, cultivating these visions for the future, both for ourselves and others, and possibly collectively, maybe friends, community, contribution, really good to uh, cultivate that. But the full moon in general is just a status check. So good to do uh, this middle part of the week is just evaluate how things are going in general in our life, especially over the context of the previous two weeks when we started the new moon or the new lunar cycle. And so great to see how things are going and maybe see that some things are working, some things are not. We may wanna make some shifts and changes. And uh, again, great to do so in this context of the visionary and progressive and eccentric uh, side of Aquarius there. All right, and this is also where we start to notice some of the shifts. So Mercury is gonna start to go into Virgo here around the Wednesday time period suggesting that um, we may start to think a little bit more in terms of what can be improved and fixed just in general in life. We'll still have that creative self-expression with the sun and Leo, but our minds do go into more of the improvement realm. So uh, midweek onwards, good to see how we can fix things, improve things, and maybe our communications being a little bit more on that level. Um, but all in all, good to do that. Mercury is very well placed in Virgo, loves to be here. It's his ruling sign, which is all about, um, you know, using our minds to solve problems, uh, improve and refine upon things. Also shifting midweek uh, will be Venus. So Venus is going to start to go into Cancer. We may notice Wednesday onward, we're starting to value more of the emotional connections of things and really starting to want to create a protective environment for not only ourselves, but also in our relationships. We may notice our more caring and protective and nurturing side coming through in those one-on-one -on -one relationships. At least that's a really good way of working with uh, Venus and Cancer for the upcoming roughly couple weeks here of this smaller constellation. All right, so lots of shifts, uh, you know, in terms of a bigger picture, that's very important that these shifts are happening around this uh, Wednesday time period, both with the full moon of continuing to implement energy we become aware of, and then also with how we're thinking, being more improvement oriented, and um, also how we're connecting, being more emotionally oriented as well. So some of the aspects we have here around this middle part of the week. Um, with Tuesday, I do wanna mention Tuesday, you know, we do have a good deep mind. Um, if there's anything you wanna do that involves research and covering things or learning about deep things that involves the sort of intensity of the mind, uh, or a deep dive in some sense, maybe even more powerful or uh, truth-based or vulnerable-based communications could also be really good. So diving deep with our mind and our communications could be great around Tuesday. So when we do have this uh, full moon on Wednesday, the full moon will be sextiling up to Uranus, which is uh, the planet that rules Aquarius. So the sun will be trining Uranus. And so this just adds to that progressive energy. I think mid midweek, it's great to see how we can mix some things up a little bit, um, experiment, get outside of our comfort zone, and maybe just expressing ourselves a little bit more in that eccentric way. Very, very supportive with that Aquarius Uranus type of energy. Um, also here with this, maybe if there's any responsibilities in relationships, uh, Wednesday could be a good time doing that. Seeing how far we have come in our one-on-one -on -one connection life, maybe from the previous six months and uh, maybe again make, making some shifts and changes which could be in the context of uh, responsibility or things that take time or commitment uh, or more of a long road perspective with our one-on-one -on -one life will also be good so again major theme shifts and changes around this wednesday time period for sure now as we start to get into thursday and we begin to implement some of this awareness of wednesday of the full moon in particular and implement some of these shifts uh, Mercury will be trining Saturn, so good day there for productivity, using the mind in constructive ways, maybe some grounded communication. And then once we start to get into this um, Thursday time period, uh, the moon will be starting to go into more receptive Pisces. So this is going to place a theme, be placing a theme more on what's important to us on a soul level, all the way through pretty much the rest of the week until Sunday of uh, really listening to our soul in that sense and our inner guidance could be deep feelings could be about wanting more peace in life having a little more tranquility um, and again being willing to be receptive and go with the ebbs and flows of life uh, could be a great way of working with this second half of the week 
in particular. Great for imagination, creativity, and that kind of deep watery type of energy. All right, and then once we get into Friday, we do have this Venus squaring up to Mars. So this can sometimes be a bit of a clash with the yin and yang aspects of our interpersonal relationships. It's good to see how we can find balance here. How can we be direct, assertive, and cultivate our own needs, but at the same time, be tactful, cooperative, willing to find a middle ground. Um, if we can do that, then it's going to be a very constructive part of the week for relationships in general, since Venus and Mars do signify the interpersonal connections, especially because Venus will be sextiling Mercury, um, suggesting maybe a bit of flow in the communications. The communications might be quite enjoyable here around Friday um, and maybe learning through relationships. But nonetheless, how can we you know, merge the yin and yang, the assertive yet receptive side of ourself in those connections, and then it becomes extremely constructive time there for building new and existing relationships. All right, and then Saturday, as we ease up off some of that energy, we'll have the moon still in receptive Pisces. Again, all this whole later part of the week is good for doing what's important on a soul level, creating a bit of space, um, that kind of tranquil energy. And then the weekends with uh, the moon shifting into Aries on Sunday. So Sunday, getting into more of the active and direct side of things, probably noticing themes around having to take initiative and uh, pursuing our needs and desires at least that could be a really good way of working with it. All right, so all of that is a mouthful. Lots going on this week. To put simply is that the full moon is definitely the most important uh, thing this week. As we approach Wednesday, it's all about continuing with you know some momentum, maybe getting some awareness, and then around Wednesday making some shifts and changes. Whatever comes to our awareness, we may decide to go and, and kind of pivot into a new direction. And it could be with gaining more of that visionary side and collaborative and contributing side uh, of ourselves, which is Aquarius, which will likely notice themes regarding that stuff probably all midweek. This is also the time of the week where we do have those shifts of the planetary energies, Venus going into more protective and emotional cancer, enjoying that kind of protective energy. And then Mercury going into Virgo, which is more about improvement, refinement, and uh, you know, taking care of things that um, you know, do require that uh, fixing, solving problems type of energy. All right, so everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, click that like button. Also, if you haven't yet signed up for the MTZ Insiders newsletter where you get extra videos and extra content, there's a link down below for that as well. But again, have a great one. Thank you again for all of your support and I'll see you next time for the next weekly forecast. Take care.